Hi. Hi. Are you sure this course is just for two four nine nine? Yes. And you know this is the only course with this expertise across the world. No way. Yes way. Don't delay. Enroll now. Geeks learning together. Hi. Oi. So they got access to their job portal Geeks for Geeks for free? Yes, complimentary with the course. And you got your job through that? Me and 15000 others across the world. No way. Oh, yes way. Don't delay. Enroll now. Geeks learning together. Hello, welcome back to this amazing channel. This is Abhinu. Today we are back to solve our next problem today. The problem of the day for today is really easy. It is based on a stack where we have to delete the middle element of the stack. Please let me know if I am clearly audible and visible to you all, so that we can start today's POD. Am I clearly audible and visible to you all? Hello, Nekaj. Hello, Rishit. Hello, Radhika. How are you guys? Okay, I am clearly audible and visible to you all. Great. So let me share the screen and. Uh, start the problem problem is uh, really clear that we are having a stack and we have to delete the middle element of the stack so let's say that uh, the stack which is given to us is something like this we have elements there like we have element 5 3 1 8 8 7 so let's say we have to delete the middle element which is this one this is the middle element and we have to delete this element so what we will do so to delete this middle element what i will do is what i will do is that uh, i will basically i will basically uh, take some elements from the top of the stack so let's say i will take a different stack for it i will take a different stack for it for n by 2 elements so let's say in this particular case in this particular case n is 5 okay in this particular case n is 5 So I will take n by two means two elements from the stack. So I will take this seven and eight from the stack. I will take it in a different stack. I will remove them from this stack. Okay. Then I will remove this element, pop this middle element, and then again get back those two elements. Is it clear? Hi Ajay. And this is how we will delete the middle element. Now let's say this is the given stack which has only four elements. in case is it has even number of element again what we will do we will take n by 2 elements from top of it so here n by 2 means two elements from top of it so i will take it in a different stack okay now i will delete the next element which is present and then again back that those two elements is it clear what we are doing am i right So basically, first we have to remove n by two elements from a stack and keep it in another stack. Then delete the next element, and then again from the stack to the previous stack. Right. So what I will do is, I will create one more stack here. You can use stack also. We can use array, vector, whatever you want. Okay. Like this. Let's say it is s. It is s one. So first, what I will do, I will take an array of size n by two. And for these n by n by two elements, what I will do is that I will take it from s and push it to s one. So what I will do is I will take it from s one. Like I will take it from s, and I will push it to s one. 
and pop them from S1. S basically. Basically, top n by two elements are gone. So let's say the uh, is, the stack is like this. It is something like. Uh, One, two, three, four, five. So n is five. So n by two means two elements I will remove. So I will remove these top two elements. I will place them in a sec second stack as one. Now I will remove this next element. I will delete it simply. S dot pop. Now for all that n by two elements, I will make it again back to S. And this is how this element will got deleted. So now again, the same thing will be done. But now what we will do, I will take elements from S1 and I will move it to S, the opposite of it. And that is what we have to do. That is completely what we have to do. Is this code clear to everyone? You can say it's submitted. So this is how basically we are solving this particular problem. Is it completely clear to all of you? Guys, I have shared the code also. Is it clear everyone? So the problem today is also very basic. It's just simply a Q reversal problem. So you can see the last some problems are based on Q, stack and queue. Okay, so great. Uh, yeah, so the time is complex in space complexity, both are order of n because we are having an order of n loop and also we're having extra stack. So both is order of n, great. Okay guys, so that's all for this video. I hope that you have got it. Let's meet again tomorrow with next problem. Till then, thank you. Happy good and take care. Bye-bye. GFG karlo ho jayega.